And India's opposition Congress Party's two-day plenary session is all set to begin for the first time under its new president Rahul Gandhi. Starting the proceedings for the two-day plenary session, Congress President Rahul Gandhi on Friday chaired a meeting of top leaders to give final shape to the draft resolutions that will outline the party's political roadmap. The plenary session will set the tone for the Congress poll strategy for the 2019 Lok Sabha polls and assembly elections in key states like Karnataka and BJP rule. Madhya Pradesh, Rajasthan and Chhattisgarh among others. The plenary will adopt four resolutions, political, economic, foreign affairs and a resolution on agriculture, employment and alleviating poverty over the next two days. The session is significant because it is the first time since Gandhi took the reins that all top central and state leaders of the party will come together to ideate on the political, economic and social vision. The political vision document is likely to be divided into three parts. Failures of the ruling National Democratic Alliance or NDA. Comparison of the present government with the Congress-led UPA on key policy indicators. And the broad future outlook of the party. And now I'm joined in live uh, by our political editor, Mr. Kartike Sharma, along uh, with... Dr. Shama Mohammed, who is the Congress spokesperson. Let's go across to Kartike first. Kartike, you know, uh, the Congress is seeking to oust the BJP in the upcoming 2019 general polls. What is the strategy that Congress will look at at this plenary meet? You know, today Congress stands at the you know cusp of uh, some would say change, but I would say that today uh, Congress stands at the crossroad. You know, organizationally speaking, it is not what it used to be under Rajiv Gandhi or Indira Gandhi. It's virtually absent in 200 seats. You know, if you if you count Bihar, if you count UP, if you count uh, West Bengal, if you count Tamil Nadu, if you count Telangana, Andhra Pradesh, Odisha. You know, these are problematic parts for the Congress Party. Now, if I say that, uh, what's the challenge of the Congress Party? Obviously, it's the organization because the way Bharati Jantra Party has expanded to the, in, in, to the country, they have uh, government in more than a uh, dozen uh, states. You know, there they, they might be a time that they might have government in 23 states now. So on these issues, I'm joined by Dr. Shama Mohammed, spokesperson of the Congress Party. You know, the Congress as it is at its lowest today in terms of number, morale, some would say funding, uh, some would say the presence in state government. Where do you see Congress from today onwards after this session when Rahul Gandhi is finally taking over in terms of where it should be? So, <clears throat> I've been talking to people, I've been going around and everybody is saying after Rahul ji took over, there has been a change. I've been talking to the cadres, they're all very motivated because he is looking into the most important thing which you pointed out to me, the organizational part, which we have to strengthen, which has become a little weak, and he is focused on strengthening it, and he wants to take everybody together, you know, every part of this country, whether they are Dalits, Muslims, Hindus, Sikhs, everyone should be, we, we believe in a pluralistic society. Shama, that, that's, Shama that's, that's an idol, but the fact the matter is organizationally it's it seems to be uh, shrinking and even if you look at the Gorakhpur victory or if you look at the victory in Pulpur which has uh, which, you know which which is uh, Samajwadi party who have won two seats Congress is nowhere even part of the third front imagination you know now the regional leaders like Shahad Pawar, Mamta Benerji, uh, Chan Rao, uh, you know Telangana chief minister they are talking about third front you know third front is always supported by Congress from outside so it's not even UPA Shama so that's what it has already that's what you said talking about now recently mrs uh, sonia gandhi had a dinner many of the opposition leaders attended so yes there is a lot of talk and in politics one day you know how it is in things can change in one day we have a year's time left we don't know what is going to happen in that year but we know that we will become a strong opposition by that time the congress party mr gandhi has taken over he's working very hard towards it you will see it in the karnataka elections we are working very hard look what the opposition is doing in Karnataka, they are calling Mr. Siddharamaya a terrorist. They are saying that you support jihadis. Is this the way forward for a country? Yes, we are opposition parties, but are we enemies? We are all Indians. Opposition can have a view, but you can't call a sitting CM a terrorist. You can't call a party supporting, a Congress party supporting jihadis. Is this the way an election should be run? Okay, that's, what that, that, that's okay. You know, sometimes uh, the, the be taken up, Shama, but they become fair game in politics. But before I let go of you, I have a question. 
there's a generation shift which has taken place uh, within the Congress party. But the shift in generation which is non-dynastic has not taken place in the organization. Why? So that's what I, I'm not from a dynasty. I'm out. I'm an example for you. I've come into the party recently. I am not from any dynastic a political family. I am from Kerala. I'm a dentist by profession and they have supported me and I've been coming up. So if it was the case, then I wouldn't be a spokesperson here on your channel. That's the answer to it. So I, I, I think, you know, the, the, you know, as Shama was saying, uh, the, you know, you have a bit of a, uh, I would say, dark side or, or the problematic side and you have the bright side. But right now, uh, the important part is that today the transition is over because in Congress party, uh, the election to the office or selection to the office, to the office of president takes place in two phases. One is the proposal by the Congress Working Committee and second is the ratification by All India Congress Committee which is going to take place. So then the Rahul Gandhi will have his tenure. But there are two things which are going to happen. Uh, Sonia Gandhi is going to speak like a delegate, not as the president of the Congress party because she is not the president anymore. And secondly, the most important part, you know, this is the first AICC session I'm covering where you don't have people giving speeches. You'll be very surprised to know that they have panel discussions like TV in this session, which are on the lighter side. But on the, uh, I would say, uh, on, on, on the side of the politics or, or something which really... Uh, Yes, Shama, you wanted to come in? I want to say that Rahulji is a leader who wants each and every one, even the topmost leaders to work. Each and every one has to work. He is not somebody who wants people just to be out there for namesake. But have nobody giving speeches. There's just panel discussions and he's very particular that nobody sits on stage just like that. So everybody has a job to do now. That's the thing about Mr. So Gandhi. Th that's the point I was uh, trying to make that this is the first time where people will not be sitting on the stage. You know, if you compare it with the session of Hyderabad or Buradi, you'll have all the top leaders on the stage and then they are giving speeches from there. This is the first time, you know, you'll have a, you will have a conclave sort of a, a AICC uh, session and let's see how it turns out. But the bottom line here is that for Congress, uh, it's a matter of do and die because you have they have elections now in Karnataka, they have elections in three northern states, and if Congress if Congress want to remain in fight, if Congress wants to remain in fight, right. it needs to retain Karnataka right. and it needs to give a good fight in Rajasthan, Madhya Pradesh, and Chhattisgarh. Right. Kartike Sharma out there, joined in by Congress spokesperson Dr. Shama Mohammed. Thank you so much, Kartike and Dr. Shama.